Shian Chen said. Outer Disciple Area of the BFMP. Hall of Affairs. A group of outer disciples stood in line with serious expressions. Lin Yuan stood in the line, a hint of confusion flashing in his eyes. His eyes swept around for a moment. Everything he saw and heard was unfamiliar, beyond Lin Yuan's expectations. He lowered his head, looking at his Yuan, rosy palms and the unfamiliar blue material of his clothes, wearing a puzzled expression. Suddenly, fragments of memories popped into his head. He furrowed his brow, moving forward in line while trying to piece together the fragments of memory, attempting to understand the situation. At the same time, he strained his ears to listen to the conversations around him. The outer disciples in the line remained silent. The outer disciple at the front seemed to be hesitating about something. Hurry up, what are you waiting for? Leaning against the chair back, a middle-aged man frowned impatiently. He was Zhao Donglei, the steward of the outer sect of BFMP. In front of him, there was a table with purple wooden plaques on it. The outer disciple hesitated for a moment before choosing a wooden plaque from the corner. Steward, I choose this one. Zhao Donglei's expression was indifferent as he casually pointed, causing a gleam of light to project onto the wooden plaque, revealing the number 21. The outer disciple immediately looked at the wall beside him. Lin Yuan followed his face to the wall. There was a notice board hanging on the wall, listing a lot of text. Fortunately, Lin Yuan had already sorted out some of his memories and could understand the foreign characters on it. 21, Guardian Disciple of the Snow Monster Cave. Task: Guarding the Snow Monster Cave in Bifan Peak to prevent the escape of snow monsters. Reward, Arr. Contribution Points, Third Day. The Outer Disciple's face showed a trace of unease. Snow monsters were not easy to deal with. This task involved life, threatening danger. It seemed he needed to prepare to exchange tasks. Cao Dongli casually registered it and said, Do you understand your task? Next. Thank you, Steward. The line moved forward one spot. Lin Yuan had already figured out what was happening. It was the day for newly promoted outer disciples to choose their tasks. Rather than selection, it was more like drawing lots. The wooden plaques on the table represented tasks, and what task one got depended on luck. The queue was ordered according to cultivation level, with higher cultivation level disciples having the advantage of drawing lots first. However, being at the back of the line didn't necessarily mean one couldn't get a good task. Luck was unpredictable. The line slowly moved forward, and finally, it was Lin Yun's turn. He looked at the few wooden plaques on the table. He randomly picked one. The number 60, 6 appeared on it. Lin Yun raised an eyebrow and looked at the introduction on the wall. 66. Medicine Apprentice of the Zhuanglin Cave Mansion. Task. Assist the Swamlin alchemists in refining pills. Reward. One contribution point per day dot in an instant dot Lin Yuan. Clearly felt numerous hot gazes on the wooden park in his hand. Even Zhao Donglai, leaning against the chair, was somewhat surprised and sat up straight off the disciples, drew their task part didn't leave the hall of affairs, Bill stood by waiting for something got in one task part to caught their attention of what profession was most popular in Viking Peak. Of course, it's alchemists. Which disciple entering by Feng Peak doesn't want to become an alchemist? If they don't, why bother coming to by Feng Peak? To become an alchemist, there are only two ways, self-study or apprenticeship. Self-study not only involves great difficulty in learning, but more importantly, it's impossible to gather the basic requirements of the fundamentals like alchemy techniques and formulas are unaffordable. Ev. And if you exchange them with contribution points, what about big items like alchemy furnaces and fire sources? These are not things that mere outer disciples can easily obtain. Outer disciples who want to become alchemists must first become medicine apprentices to get close to alchemists and then be accepted as disciples. When in your aunt stepped aside, three disciples immediately approached. Relying on fragmented memories, he recognized the identities of the three dot with a small beard, a thin male disciple named Huzia Jin, at the mid-stage of the fifth layer of qi cultivation. 
It was said that he had a senior serving as an inner sex jeweled in by whom he got a charming woman with a slightly powdered oval face named Wu Zillian, also at the mid-stage of the fifth layer of qi cultivation. Her brother was a core disciple of Bai Feng Pi Dot, the other man, chubby with a foolish smile on his face, named Liu Lei, at the late stage of the fifth layer of Qi Si. Cultivation His father was extremely wealthy and seemed to hold a managerial position in the market affiliated with the sect. Dot. No need to say more. He's free. Came to the number 6 to 6 task park in his hand. Dot. Time seemed to stretch at this moment. Dot. In one thought rate. Dot. He come. In a medicine apprentice meant getting on the path of alchemists. As long as he could please the alchemists and gain their approval, he would have the opportunity to become one. In the future, spiritual stones would be plentiful, affecting his path to immortality. Could he give you P this opportunity? No. Even if he offended these three, this was a major matter concerning his future cultivation. He couldn't hand over his bright future to others. Immortality cultivation was about competition. Only through competition could one obtain the chance for eternal life not fight for opportunities. Fight for resources. Fight for destiny. In cultivation, one must endure hardships, endure humiliations, have unwavering faith, and fear nothing. In cultivation, one needs an unstoppable momentum. He couldn't give up this opportunity. Even offending the three was worth it. So, ding, binding to the unlimited synthesis system. In a split second, Lin Yuan changed his mind. He raised the task plaque in his hand and exclaimed, Who has the number 38 task plaque? Give me 300 spiritual stones, and I'll exchange the number 6 to 6 task plaque for you. The three approaching disciples suddenly stopped in their tracks. After a moment of recollection, almost simultaneously, they looked at an outer disciple who looked puzzled. The task plaque in his hand was indeed the number 38. The three simultaneously surrounded the disciple, Hu Zirijin, Hu Zilian, and Liu Lei exchanging glances. Lin Yuan stood aside, every own skate shifted away from him to another corner where an exciting game unfolded. Since Lin Yuan had spoken, he wouldn't retract his words, and of IS didn't care about him either. Lin Yuan looked at the task board on the wall, 38, Spirit Herb Apprentice of the Jade Garden. Task, plant spirit herbs in the Jade Garden of Bai Feng Peak. Reward, one contribution point per day. This is a task of planting spirit herbs. It's not DIF. Difficult, but the benefits are not great either. The prospects are average. Compared to being a medicine apprentice, it falls far behind. The advantage is that you want to exchange for the number 38 task plan. Liu Lei smiled and glanced at Lin Yuan. Yes, but you also know that the number 60, 6 flag is more popular, so you need to add another 300 low-grade spiritual stones. Lin Yu said humbly. Okay. Liu Lei nodded with a smile, handing over a bag of spiritual stones and the number 38 task flag. Lin Yu also handed the task flag directly to Liu Lei. Your straightforward, junior brother. Liu Lei rubbed the number 60, 6 task flag. His smile even brother. It's just a transaction. Lin Yu smiled. I love making deals the most. Let's be friends since we hit it off. My name is Liu Lei. Liu Lei smiled and raised his disciple flag. Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan raised his disciple flag and tapped it against Liu Lei, thus adding each other as friends, enabling wireless communication within the set. I'll go confirm the task first. Let's chat later when we have time. Liu Lei walked his hand. Sure, talk to you later. Lin Yuan replied casually. Liu Lei quickly walked towards the steward to finalize the confirmation. Lin Yuan didn't wait long either. After all the task flags were drawn, disciples could finalize the confirmation of their other disciples' tasks with the steward. This period of time was intended for disciples to exchange task flags with each other. The confirmation process wasn't slow. 
Half an hour later, he had already left the affairs hall. However, not long after he left, he felt someone following behind him. Lin Yun glanced out of the corner of his eye and saw a disciple from the outer set with a cold expression, walking quickly towards him. This person was the original owner of the number 38 class flat, seems to be called Mile Fang. The person stopped beside him, staring at him with cold eyes. Lin Yun raised an eyebrow. He knew he might have offended him, but Lin Yun felt it was better to offend him than to be stuck with a class he didn't like. On one hand, offending two well-connected outer disciples and likely getting a class he didn't like. On the other hand, offending a background less Qi refining cultivator, and still having the option to freely choose a class flat. He didn't regret his decision. Mile Fang said coldly, It's because of you that I lost the number 38 flat for no reason, and you also offended Wu Zai and Wu Zuyan. I don't want to waste words. Give me Wu spirit stones, and we'll call it even. 500 spirit stones. Why don't you go rob someone else? Lin Yun had originally intended to apologize, but this person seemed intent on taking advantage of him. Did he think Lin Yun was a pushover? Lin Yun placed his hand on the heel of his sword, his expression calm as he said. Transactions are based on personal willingness. If you don't want to exchange, can others force you with weapons at your neck? If I'm not mistaken, Liu Lei has already offered you 200 spirit stones as part of the exchange condition, right? You got an undeserved benefit, why are you still not content? So, you're unwilling to give? Mao Fang asked with a grim face. You're being unreasonable. Lin Yun drew out a section of his sword hilt, his face turning cold. HMPH. Mao Fang gave Lin Yun a cold glance before turning around and leaving. Lin Yun watched his departing figure, his face flickering. This person harbored hostility towards him, so he needed to quickly improve his strength. Shun Yun Ping, Infinite Synthesis System successfully bound.